And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today I'm going to be telling you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to pick up the new mythical Pokemon Zarud. This is actually a very powerful Pokemon so you do not want to miss out on it. Alright, so let's roll the intro and jump right into it. Alright, so Zarud, the rogue monkey Pokemon, is making its debut into Pokemon Go, and this is actually a very powerful mythical Pokemon compared to the other mythicals that we've had so far. And that is of course because it does have a pretty unique typing of Dark and Grass, which is going to be pretty rare among legendaries and mythicals. And yes, this Pokemon is somewhat relevant in PvP and in raid battles, so you do not want to miss out on this Pokemon, and of course it's going to be through a special research and that special research is actually pretty easy and straightforward compared to the ones we've had in the past. Now the special research is going to be called Search for Zarud and it's going to be available starting October 1st 2021 and as long as you are logged into the game after this point you will be able to pick up this special research and you will be able to complete it at any given time. Of course it's not a limited time research so maybe you can complete it a year from now or two years from now it really does not matter as long as you log into the game after this date, you will be able to pick up this special research and eventually Zarud. So let's go over that special research right now. So the first step is going to involve catching seven different species of Pokemon and then you will have to catch seven Pokemon, which means if you are catching seven different kinds of Pokemon, that's going to be two tasks that you can complete simultaneously. But again, it's all going to depend on how different the spawns are around you. Like if you have a good variety of spawns, you should be able to complete this really quickly. Now the third task in this first step of the special research is going to involve taking three snapshots of a wild ground type Pokemon and you can actually complete this task real easily even if you don't have any ground types near you and that is of course because the second task in this first step will award you with an Alolan Diglett encounter. So rather than catching that Alolan Diglett once you complete the second task, what you will want to do is take three snapshots of that Alolan Diglett encounter. You do not have to be in AR mode. You just have to hit that camera icon at the top center of the screen and then just take three snapshots of that Pokemon and you will be able to complete that third task. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the first step of this special research. And interestingly enough, all of the other steps of this special research are actually very similar to the first one. There's nothing really too much to it. I mean, there's going to be some tasks that are going to be different from just simply catching Pokemon, but you're not going to be required to raid or use incense or anything like that. It's just going to be pretty straightforward, where you're going to be catching Pokemon and then taking snapshots of a Pokemon that you come across. But in any case, yeah, let's move on to the second step. You will be required to do five great throws in a row, and of course, this is just a skill-based task. Like, if you're not able to do great throws consistently at this point, now is a good time to practice. Now, of course, in order to complete this first task, you will need to do five great throws in a row, so I highly suggest you look for a nest where the Pokemon is super easy to catch. Like, for example, like Whalmer or Staryu, those are some really good nests with some pretty big circles, so you will be able to do those great throws real easily. Now, the second task of this second step is going to require you to catch 10 bug type Pokemon. This is, of course, a type specific task, which means that if you are completing this special research at the time that it comes out, you will have some event spawns that will allow you to speed through this, so do keep that in mind. You do not want to procrastinate when it comes to the special research, mainly because the event spawns are always rotating depending on what event is active. And of course, you might come across an event that does not have that many bug spawns, so you will want to complete this as soon as possible. But in any case, yeah, just catch 10 bug type Pokemon. It could be Weedles, it could be whatever Pokemon is spawning, and then as soon as you do that, you will come across a Dwebble as a reward. Now, either you could 
use Dwebble or any of the bug type Pokemon for those three snapshots. That is of course going to be the third task of this step and you do not want to ignore it. So honestly, it's going to be pretty simple as you're catching your 10 bug type Pokemon for three of them or for one of them, just take three snapshots and you will be good to go. Next, let's move on to the third step. Now, this one is going to be a little bit more complex compared to the first two. You will want to use 20 berries to help catch Pokemon. All you have to do is jump into a legendary raid battle, use those golden raspberries to try to catch that legendary Pokemon, and you should get this one done really quickly. And then for the second task, you will be required to catch 30 grass type Pokemon or bug type Pokemon. So just like the second step, you will just need to catch a whole bunch of bug type Pokemon. But do keep in mind that for the three snapshots of this task, you will be required to do it with grass type Pokemon. So if you see a bunch of Oddish or Cherim or anything like that, don't forget to take those three snapshots of that Pokemon. And again, all you have to do is hit that camera icon at the top. You don't need to be in AR mode. Just take three snapshots and you will get the credit for this task. Next, let's move on to the fourth step of this special research. And this is actually going to be the last step that's going to require you to complete tasks. You will be required to defeat 16 go rocket grunts. Now of course we're going to be seeing Jesse and James Meowth balloons every sixth hour at the time that this special research gets released so you will want to take full advantage of that. That is how you're going to speed through this particular task. So I highly suggest you complete the first three steps as fast as possible so that once the Meowth balloons start spawning you will be able to get two points towards this task as opposed to one. And then the second task is pretty simple. All you have to do is catch 15 Pokemon with a weather boost and then of course you will have to take three snapshots of flying type Pokemon and then of course the reward for the catch 15 Pokemon with weather boost task is going to be a butterfree encounter and yes three snapshots of that Pokemon is going to count towards this third task so once you catch 15 Pokemon with weather boost and complete that second task when you come across that butterfree encounter just take three snapshots of it and you will be good to go once you complete all the tasks of this fourth step, you will be drawn into the fifth step. And of course, it's going to be the last step of this special research. And if you completed any special researches in the past, you would know that the last step is just collecting experience rewards. There's no real tasks to this fifth step. It's just you collecting these experience bonuses. And then of course, the encounter with Zarud. If you want the perfect IVs for this Pokemon, then hopefully you will encounter one that has 1643 as its combat power. That is going to be the perfect IVs, and for those of us who end up getting that, they are going to be the lucky ones, because this Pokemon does have a lot of potential with its move pool and its typing. If you're in an area that's heavily populated with Pokemon spawns and Pokestops, you should be able to complete this within about two hours, but that is of course depending on your luck with Team Go Rocket spawns. I think that that's the one thing that's going to be the biggest time sink for this special research. But again, because it's so small and because it's so straightforward, I really can't see anyone just having any kind of difficulty with this special research. This is pretty much a freebie for a very powerful mythical Pokemon. So yeah, have at it. Make sure you complete this special research as quick as possible. Again, you do not want to ever procrastinate when it comes to special researches like this because it's going to be tied to a bunch of event spawns and it's going to allow you you to expedite completing that special research. So do keep that in mind. Just complete this as soon as it's out. And yeah, that's going to give you this very powerful mythical Pokemon and you're going to be good to go. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I kind of wanted to keep it short, but unfortunately I started rambling right away. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Is there some sort of secret tip or some way that you can complete this special research a lot faster than others? Make sure you share those tips down below and let's have a great discussion. In any case, yeah, I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.